Good morning, Harry. Good to see you. How was your drive? Ah, uh, good morning, Mr. Brown. Very pleasant, thank you. Nice and slow through the countryside. Classical music on the radio. Very pleasant. What am I doing for you today? Follow me, Harry. I really appreciate your work, Harry. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Yes. You did a wonderful job on the fences last time. I can see that you take pride in your work. I like that. Morning, Oscar! Morning, Mr. Brown. Well, I appreciate the work and the money. Good. Good. So, today I'd like you to clear out the garage and paint the outside woodwork. I'm afraid it's a bit of a mess in there, so it needs a good sorting out. Come on, I'll show you. You can start over here on the right, Harry. Just don't throw anything away before checking with me first. No nah, problem, Mr. Brown. Consider the job done. Thank you, Harry. Ah, oh, Mr. Brown! What on earth is that? Uh, I don't think That is what one might call rather special. A rather special. My custom motorcycle, Harry. A thing of great beauty. A combination of qualities, shape, colour and form that pleases in the same moment both the aesthetic and the physical senses. In short, a work of art, Harry. Does it run? Uh, well, no, no, not exactly. Not for a few years now. Listen, Mr Brown, motorcycles are my thing. How much you want for it? I'm sorry, Harry, but that bike is not for sale. How much? A thing of great beauty, Harry. Come Only on. one of a kind, Harry. Listen, it looks like nobody's ridden it in years. And motorcycles, Mr. Brown, they're meant to be ridden. Your money cannot buy that bike, Harry. Gotcha. But a parlay might. A parlay? Yes, a parlay. A bet, a wager. Something with high stakes, Harry. Mr. Brown. This is rather exciting. Do you happen to know the Flat Cat Road, Harry? You mean the Valley of Death? Know it well, Mr. Brown. If you can put that bike together and ride it there by noon tomorrow, it's yours. Good luck, Harry. Tools are out the back. Mr. Brown! Box ticking, Harry! Halfway through the night, Harry. I bought you an oval tea and biscuits to help keep you going. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Mm. I've just been reading some Kant, Harry. I don't suppose you've heard of him. Great philosopher. Not bad, Mr. Brown. But I prefer Nietzsche myself. More my kind of fella. On a mountains of truth, you can never climb in vain. Either you reach a point higher today, or you be training your powers so that you will be able to climb higher than Amara. Well, very good, Harry. Very good indeed. And on that note, I shall wish you a very good night. There's a bed next door if you decide to call it a day. Not a chance, Mr. Brown. Nighty-night. That I will be the one to change
Yeah. 